polyvinyl materials comes from very simple beginnings. Salt, water, limestone, and coke. In the manufacturing process, salt and water plus electricity produce hydrogen and chlorine gases, which combine to form hydrogen chloride. Coke and limestone are combined to form acetylene. These two gases are then combined in turn, heated, compressed, and cooled, and thus converted to liquid form. The result, vinyl chloride. A single drop contains literally billions of molecules in a seething, chaotic world of their own. The addition of a catalyst to vinyl chloride works a startling change. The catalyst, like a top sergeant who never joins the rookie ranks, still gets plenty of action. All right, you guys, fall in on the double. Smash it up! The effect of the catalyst makes these molecules grow and hook together in long, strong chains. This bonding reaction is known as polymerization. It gives rubber and plastics their resilience and toughness, their ability to stretch and return. In this case, the process of polymerization results in the material polyvinyl chloride. This material is plenty tough, but of no practical use until a plasticizer is added. The plasticizer's softening influence makes these tough little characters pliable and workable. Thus was created a new material known as Geon, from which Coraseal products are made. A material which brought into being new plants, new jobs, and a vast array of new products which contribute to the safety, comfort, and the beauty of our daily lives.